Come on, play. <laughs> Look in the white shirt. Bend down, hand somebody a note. Turn around, make a little face. She grabs a note. You, obviously, I'm, it's all super pixelated. I'm sorry about that. But you can kind of get a gist of what's going on here. Hopefully. And anyway, that happened, right? And then she gets up, she makes a sign to her friend, like, period. Right? I'm feeling good. Anyway, at the time that happened, um, that also, if I'm not mistaken, led to the Unique lawsuit. Brendan inadvertently, by suing Unique for posting that clip and commentating on it, like I do, like anybody else that does, that covers this Bapa vs. JRV thing, he got annoyed about that and then tried to sue um, Unique for defamation of character or whatever he tried to sue him for. In the process, that led to loads of other YouTubers finding out about a big bad content creator suing a really small content creator. They all got outraged. Some of the biggest ones on the platform started speaking about it. It brought more attention to Brendan. And then, in a way, created this new resurgence in people making content about Brendan and how unfunny and redacted he is. So he, in part, is what led to this whole micro-economy, micro-economy scene, little thing that happens online with people criticizing him. So look how unlucky he is. He gets unluckily caught doing that thing you shouldn't be doing. Then, in a weird way, trying to protect his, you know, his um, trying to fucking stand up for himself, um, save his marriage, um, whatever it may be, try to do the quote unquote honorable thing. He, in a, in, a, in a weird way, the law of unintended consequences meant he also created a whole entire sub genre of people who go after him and laugh at all the dumb things that he did. Well, his worst nightmare has also happened because this poster on the Fire and the Kid subreddit, as you can see here, has put up a clip taken from the girl that's featured in that video from her TikTok, I'm assuming, or whatever, where she speaks about the incident. And it's fucking wild. Let's play this clip because this, to me, is one of the most hilarious things that's ever happened in the history of Bapaverse stuff. She's out here in public talking about this shit. Oh, no. Now you're just showing off. Is that the one? There we go. There he is, handing a note to the girl. She looks at him and says, thank you. She smiles. He looks back at her again. She looks at him. She's happy and impressed. She shows her friends a number. She gets up. They're complimenting her, saying, oh my God, wow. She's like, period. Hot girl shit. Chuckle fucker shit. She's happy. She's glad. And Brenda's over there in the background, leering. You can't see it. Oh, fuck. I wish you could see it. Hold on. Let me get it up here. Look at Brendan in the background, leering. Look at him. Look at his head. Look at Brendan. Leering. Looking at her. Double checking that she's looking back at him. Looking back at him. I sounded kind of African there. I'll play the clip again. She's going. Let's continue here. Goes over. He's walking by. He's still looking at her. She's walking by. Getting one last look at that uh, peach. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> yeah, so I... So that's the girl. Hold on. Let me actually put it... No, let me look, put it full screen. Let me put it at this because you can actually see her whole face. So that's her there, right? That's the girl now. The young lady who's fucking now came out and talk about it. I don't know why she's coming out now. I'm not too sure if this is an old video that's only surfaced now on the subreddit. I don't know what's going on, but I feel so bad for Brendan. I'm not going to lie. I feel so bad for him because his household must be on fucking fire right now. His household must be on fucking fire right now. Let's start again from the beginning. Let's hear what she has to say. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't really know who he was. Like, I didn't really, like... I never really heard about him before, if I'm being honest. And so, like, while I was there, oh, like, I kind of picked up... Let's, one sec, one sec, one more time. Why, 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 sound so, why is she talking so low? Can you hear her? Oh, really, dude? <laughs> yeah, so I didn't really know who he was. Like, I didn't really, like, I never really heard about him before, if I'm being honest. And so, like, while I was there, like, I kind of picked up that, like, he was in the NFL, <laughs> and then, like, 
now we had a podcast or was on a podcast or something like that uh, but this guy with like longer hair and was like kind of buff came up to me and just like asked BGL. me like if I wanted to meet Brendan and like I didn't know I didn't even know who he was like yeah like he was there but whatever um so then later on uh he came up to me and gave me the note with the phone number and i don't know they were both like really kind of creepy in my opinion oh Um, i don't know it was not the vibe It's already embarrassing enough that she's now coming. Because at the time it happened, I was saying, Brendan is the most luckiest guy in the world that this girl hasn't come out and said something. I think at the time I said it. He's so lucky that the girl involved was clearly not on social media or maybe didn't know who she was. Whoops, sorry. Or they didn't find out who she was. He was so lucky that she never came out. That's what I said at the time, right? But clearly in the background, some of these fucking homeless cats had been checking to see who she was and they finally found her. I don't know how they found her, but they finally did find her. And she's saying in her review of the situation that allegedly before this interaction happens, before Brendan goes up to talk to her, BGL, the buff dude with the long hair, comes up and speaks to her. So do you remember the whole Addies and Baddies thing? Um, Brendan would, Brendan had this guy who he worked for him called BGL, also known as Mark Harley. He was in charge of basically holding Brendan's phone and having access to his social media accounts and deleting comments and responding to DMs. But another part of his job was obviously securing him some Adderall, allegedly. And another part of his job was procuring the details and the communication accounts or whatever of baddies, right? Ladies that he maybe wanted to, um, you know, slip his Johnson into, allegedly. So BJ was in charge of online responding to women and i still don't understand this i also don't get this method because i guess brendan is trying to avoid getting caught by his wife texting girls on his main account or on his phone so he has bgl talk to them via his own account and maybe via the fire and the kid instagram accounts then relay that message back to brendan via texas so that if his wife was ever to go through his dms she wouldn't see anything dicey. I guess that's the hope, which is odd. But anyway, regardless. What this girl is saying is that they also did that in real life. BGL would go up to girls like Brendan is fucking Justin Bieber and say, Brendan wants you. And this girl looking like she's no more than 25 doesn't know who fucking Brendan Shaw is, right? Big up Uche, appreciate you. Did you see the chick was 17 at the time of the event? Allegedly. No, I DM'd no, you screenshot no, on Discord. No, no, no. Don't say that. Don't say that. No, Uche, don't say that. No, no, no. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just said I thought she was no more than 25 years old. You're telling me this girl is 18? Or less? What? She, you're telling me she's like what? That happened two years ago. Or three, she, what? She told me she's 20. Oh my God. Brendan. Wow. No. F- fuck off. Fuck off. She's 18 years old. The event was in February 2020. Why does it feel like it happened ages ago? She's 18. I was about to say, she looks no more than 25. No way. She's 18 years old. You're having doors is wild because she's 18 and she's already got like the tattoos on the fit. That's a lot. Chaos with the snakes. That's why I thought she was maybe a little bit older. She might be like 23, 22. She's 18 years old. Wow. Prayers to Brendan Shaw. Prayers. He's going to have to buy a couple of houses. Maybe, um, isn't there a new Ferrari SUV coming out, right? 
For what's it called? A Ferrari uh, Purusangu, Purusanjui, whatever that thing is. He might have to buy her a Ferrari fucking SUV, maybe a couple of watches, maybe a Birkin and a Michael Kors bag. Because if she's actually eighteen, okay, let's see. I, I want to see this video. I want to see this this screenshot. Sorry, let me check this the Discord. Hold on, I'm getting our Discord loaded up on my on my lap on my laptop. It's gonna take a while because my computer is very very old. So please bear with me. But oh my god, bro, this girl is 18. So he might actually be worse than Chris Delia. At least Chris, no, not at least, but Chris hit up girls that are underage. Then when they said with their age and it was in black and white, he stepped back, wait for them to be of age, and then he tried to hook up with them. Brendan looks like was actually pursuing a girl that was underage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't get me wrong. She doesn't look 17. That's not the point. But, God damn. What kind of luck is that, bro? <laughs> also, how the fuck did she get into the Super Bowl thing? Oh, yeah. It's a live streaming event. Will they have an entry? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's probably got a fake ID, right? Discord. Okay, let's see this here. Big up Uche. You're a fucking legend. So this is the screenshot, right? <laughs> <laughs> no way. I hope they're trolling. I hope the Reddit guys are trolling. I hope they're trolling. I DM'd her. She says she's 18. WTF. That makes sense. Well, if she's 18 now and the live stream was in February of 13th, 2022, that means she was 17 at most when that happened. I smell the diddler somewhere in the mix. I wonder if Bapa was procuring baddies for Delia. Dicey as fuck. Nah, I'm hoping this is not real. I hope for Brendan's sake, this girl is lying. I hope this is not the girl. I hope she's lying. I hope she's clout chasing like the kids do nowadays. I hope she kind of noticed she wanted to get a bit of buzz. Get a bit of, you know, notoriety online. Because I'm sure there's randoms texting her and shit. Following her account. Trying to get more information. Maybe she's doing this all for clout. Maybe. But if she is the girl in the video, this does not look good, bro. This does not look good. And you know what's even more embarrassing about this, by the way? Not only is she underage, which is its own criminal offense and, you know, whatever it may be. She's underage and she turned down Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> she said they were creepy that's the funny thing she's underage you'd think impressionable young right and she turned them down she said bgl was giving creep she said brendan was giving creep she didn't know what the nfl was she didn't know what kind of player he was she didn't know about his podcast she had no idea who the guy was she didn't even say oh he looked kind of cute i like his shoes nothing no compliments of the guy whatsoever she was like mm. so she liked the positive affirmation that she got from having a guy give her a note and give with his number but she didn't say anything nice about the interaction at all so i'm um, i'm i'm assuming and i'd hope for brendan's sake they didn't fuck i'm hoping for brendan's sake he didn't have her in the bathroom doing some questionable adult things i'm hoping because she doesn't give the impression that she did anything but she basically is saying that she wasn't on it. Oh. Let's let's play it one more time. Her, what she says. Fucking hell, Brendan. You fucking dummy dumb. Yeah, so I didn't really know who he was. Like, I didn't really, like... I never really heard about him. Hold on, hold on. Let me up the volume because for some reason the volume on the fucking monetary area is crazy. Let me try to see if I can up the volume on the filter here. Let me add a filter and see if I can get the, the gain up a little bit on here. Bear with me a second. Let me do some hacking, yeah? Let me do some hacking on my OBS. I didn't really know who he was. Like, I didn't really, like... I never really heard about him before, if I'm being honest. And so, like, while I was there, like, I kind of picked up that, like, he was in the NFL. And then, like now he had a podcast or is on a podcast or something like that uh but this guy with like longer hair and was like kind of uh came up to me and was just, like asking me like if i wanted to meet brendan <laughs> two 40 year old men <laughs> two 40 year old men 
couldn't bag a cis 17 year old. <laughs> Two 40 year old men couldn't bag a 17 year old. Oh my fucking God, bro. Game on absolute negative 100. No game. No nothing. Zero riz. Zero swag. Zero game. Zero. Zero. Chairs. Two 40-year-old men couldn't bag a 17-year-old. Can you imagine how negative your game is? And again, I'm not judging, but I would imagine if you're a lady that goes to a Super Bowl live stream watch along thing, most likely, especially if you're in LA, you know, you want to see some ballers, shot callers. You want to hang around with the guys, with the fellas then. So maybe there's a part of you that's like, you know what? I'm ready. As long as they're tall, as long as they're muscular, as long as they've got a fat pocket with loads of money in it, I'm going to maybe stroke their chest. And even in that ripe environment where the ladies might be a bit more susceptible to, to advances from the men, especially if they're famous, they still, still couldn't bag. Crazy shit game. Like, I didn't know, I didn't even know who he was. Like, yeah, like he was there, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he was there but whatever um uh, so then later on um he came up to me and gave me the note with the phone number so the note didn't have anything on it i thought he must have i thought he would write a little bit of a you know a little bit of a spiel on there do you like me yes or no remember in school when you would give a note to somebody you say do you like me Yes or no with the boxes, right? I would always get a no little box or they'd leave it, you know. <laughs> they wouldn't say anything. That would be even more hopeful. He just wrote his note there. He wrote his number. And I've got a feeling Brendan has like horrible handwriting too. She probably didn't understand what the number was, right? He's probably got eights that look like sixes and shit. Do you know what I mean? He probably writes like a redact a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Probably, he probably writes like that. He's probably one of those guys that writes like this, right? <laughs> he probably writes like that. So imagine him writing like he, like like a caveman on this note and giving it to this little seventeen year old who's probably never seen a note in her entire life, right? She probably only writes when she's in school. She probably never writes in her free time. She's like, why is this guy handing me paper? Like, what the fuck is this? And I don't know. They were both like really kind of creepy. BGL and Brendan are giving creepy. So I don't want them to ever complain. If fans online call Brendan or BGL creepy, they can never complain. A very young, is, is she even Gen Z or she younger than that? I don't know what young what generation she is, but a very young female is saying that those guys immediately gave creepy. She didn't know them. She'd never communicated with them previously. She met them for the first time at this event and said, it's giving creepy. <laughs> In my opinion, um... I don't know. It was not the vibe. It was not the vibe. Oh my God. Brendan, 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 Brendan. I can't believe this, bro. She was 17 years old. Again. We're not going to get into a conversation about the girl's looks because she's a fucking child, right? Let's not let's not even do that. It's a bit lame, whatever. Let's be you, know, you can do that in your own time, in your own circle of friends and shit. We're not going to do that here. We're not going to talk about her looks or anything. Don't you find it incredibly hilarious that they both got turned down by an 18 slash 17 year old? <laughs> Don't you find it hilarious that Brendan, I think someone said in the chat, I think it may be Fashion Roadman said, oh, he tried to go on like Drake, tried to act like a celebrity, get his lackey to like go and, you know, go and speak to her like he's a big dog. And she didn't even know who he was. He tried to do the whole like introduction with BGL and try and show him off to impress her. He didn't get any vibe from her. She wasn't feeling him. She wasn't feeling Brendan. And then in the end, she only realized that, I guess, much later on when probably Homeless Cats reached out to her. She had no idea who that guy was. 
and most likely she had no idea who he was. Guess why? Because his handwriting is probably, you know, the handwriting of somebody that, you know, might have to go to a special class when they go to school. He probably didn't write his name clearly enough in the paper to make it make sense. She was like, Bobby? Brian? Josephar? Like, she had no idea what the name probably said. <laughs> she couldn't even read the name. But she probably only found out later on when fans reached out to her and said, hey, by the way, that's Brendan Schwab. Two 40-year-old men got turned down by a 17-year-old. <sighs> Life is so great. What an incredible twist to this story. I can't believe this, man. I really cannot believe this. Let me see if there's any, been any update <clears throat> from the thread itself. Let me actually refresh this thread because I want to see if there's any update on this because this is fucking wild, bro. The girl was... That's a, that's a plot twist I don't feel I could have ever envisioned. She's 17. Wow, wow, wow. Imagine if Uniques, in his defense in court when he was getting sued, I think it's over now, but imagine if Unique's defense was, but your honor, but your honor. The girl in question in the video was 17 years old. I was just doing my civic responsibility as a citizen of the United States, trying to prevent another instances of pedophilia. <laughs> imagine that was Unique's defense. Your honor, I was just doing my job. He was trying to, Poor fucking 17 year old. <gasps> the whole court. <gasps> what? <gasps> fucking hell, bro. Only Brendan could go to a Super Bowl party where there's probably adults there. Probably ripe and ready. Clearly, adult women there, ready to go. And he manages to speak to the only girl in that room that's under the age of 18. <laughs> Normal guys, when they go to parties and they want to try to hook up with girls, normal guys will ask questions. We'll have a conversation. We'll try to get to know, to know somebody before handing them their number. Because it's not a fucking movie. You're not fucking, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal, right? Sorry. You just, you know, hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. My name is, what's your name? Oh, that's a funny name. That sounds like a name of a child. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, shit. I'm going to run away now. You know, like, you ask questions when you go out sometimes. You get to know the people. You want to see if there's a vibe there before you try and stick your Johnson inside them, right? See some, whatever's going on there. You want to make sure they're not a sub girl. You want to make sure they're not crazy. Whatever. You ask some questions. You ask to have a bit of communication. And in that communication, more likely than not, even if they lie about their age, you can usually suss it out. It's not that difficult. And then you have a decision to make. Are you the Leah or are you not? There's two de two decisions when you're in that instance. Are you going to go down to the Crystalia route? Or are you going to go down the <laughs> grown-up route and say, nice talking to you. Actually, not nice talking to you. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. Or are you going to go to the security and say, by the way, that girl over there is 17. Chuck her out, please. Right? What are you going to do? Because, wow. Because the issue is here again. He was suing Uniques under the impression that it didn't happen. And that Unique was making it up and putting clips together, blah, 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 blah. And now how do you spend that to your wife? So you did give her your number. And he lives in California, right? Don't they have like crazy um, like laws around fucking divorce and shit? Anyway, thoughts and prayers with Brendan, man. Thoughts and prayers. His household must be on a madness right now. Thoughts and prayers to that man because that's a lot. That's a lot, bro. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and fucking prayers. Because what, what do you have to buy now? He bought his mum, her mum a house before when he got into that passer, allegedly. That's what the optics look like. Now what do you have to do? How do you make up for another instance of cheating? You buy another house? Another bag? Another car? How can you, how can you rescue this, really? What do you do? Do you tell her that she can bang the florist in your bed? What do you do? <laughs> how do you rescue this? What do you do? Or, ah, oh, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. If you're Brendan, you gaslight her and you sue her. You sued Unique. Now you go and sue the girl. You sue the 18 year old. <laughs> That's what you do. You sue her for defamation of character too. Like you try to sue Kalila and Annie Liederman and the Esther girl. You sue the girl. That's what you do if you're Brendan. You gaslight her. You go super toxic. 
You go straight denial mode. I don't know who she is. I've never seen her. Oh, no, Jian. Mexican is like nine months pregnant too. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. When it rains, it pours. When it rains, it fucking pours. You're honestly better off. If you're actually in a marriage and you want to play out of your marriage and you want to cheat and shit, you're probably better off just like hiring whores, you know. Going online, going to brothels and shit, buying women of the night and hanging out with them. You're probably better off doing that. Maybe going to Las Vegas and doing that sort of shit. Probably better off doing that than this type of shit. Especially if you're a, a known person online and shit. Because people are probably going to see you do you see you see doing your madness and they're going to report you. So you might as well just pay for it. I don't agree with paying for it. I don't think that's, you know, what you should be doing, right? As a man, right? You should be maybe testing your metal out there and getting loads of no's and no's and no's that makes that builds character. I don't think you should cheat. But if you've got the means to cheat, if you've got the means to cheat, you should cheat. You get it? Uh-huh. If you've got the money to pay for the nyash, you should go get some more gash, right? That's what you should be doing. <laughs> because if you roll the dice at a streaming party, you could be end up you could be talking to a TikToker. <laughs> he rolled the dice at a streaming party and he ended up talking to a TikToker. She's like Charlie D'Amelio age, isn't it? Right? She's Charlie D'Amelio age. She's like one of those girls, right? Addison Ray. Bah, bah, bah. Right, she's one of those type of girls. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, bro. Chaos on her chest and little snakes and stuff. Like, you know, a little cool girl. Like, She's probably one of those girls that stick, sticks her tongue out. She's those type of girls. <laughs> she's a child, bro. She's a fucking child. Holy shit. Holy shit. I couldn't imagine talking to an... I couldn't imagine having a conversation with a 17-year-old boy, right? Like, about football. Let alone trying to get in... I'm not going to say that bit about it, but you know what I mean, right? Like, I couldn't have a conversation with a 17-year-old boy about football. Imagine talking to a young girl at that age. Could never be me. Could never be me. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my fucking God. Brendan Schwab, man. Wow.